Hello, I'm Fabio Vitale, tour guide of Apulia. We are today in Barletta, a city with almost 100,000 inhabitants and a lot of history to tell. But as usual, in only five minutes. Particularly famous in Italian history is the challenge of Barletta. In 1503, in fact, 13 French and 13 Italians faced each other in a nightly tournament. And guess who won? Three centuries later, the writer Massimo D'Azeglio will publish a novel about this event. And thanks to his work, this event starts being seen as the first moment of patriotic spirit in a country, Italy, that would still have to wait some time before reaching the unification. In the old town there's a place considered, according to the tradition, the tavern where General Lamotte, provoked by the Italians, launched the challenge that will lead the French to humiliation. In the political confusion of that time, the French took revenge by sacking the city a few years later, in 1528. This region, on the sea and stretched as it is towards east, was constantly exposed to raids. Raids that actually took place, but also inspired funny legends. One is that of the giant Heraclius, also called the Colossus or, for the people of Barletta, Are. He saved this town from a raid. With his mighty body size, you think? No. He waited for the ships on the beach and began to cry. At the pirates' request for explanations, he said, Everyone makes fun of me because I'm the smallest man in town. The pirates, of course, ran off in panic. But to defend themselves, talking about giants was not enough for the inhabitants. So they built a huge castle, a splendid example of evolution of a defensive building from the Middle Ages to the 16th century, which today houses inside the bust that, according to the most, depicts Emperor Frederick II of Swabia, grandson of Frederick Barbarossa. Inside the castle there is also the library and a rich collection of paintings. The most famous painter from Barletta was Giuseppe De Nittis, who, constantly traveling between Naples, Paris and London, forged his unique artistic soul in contact with personalities such as the writer Émile Zola and the painters Edgar Degas and Édouard Manet. An art gallery inside Palazzo della Marra is dedicated to him. Before we leave, we also have a look at the main church, dedicated to the Holy Mary, with its underground excavations which take us to the 3rd, 4th centuries BC. And then, well, I don't know, you can just sit by the promenade on the sea and imagine the late lamented Pietro Menea, Olympic champion in the 200 meters event, training to win his medals.
Hey! <laughs>